So what, why is this an issue and a cause you want to raise awareness for? Um, my grandmother was diagnosed about 10 years ago with Alzheimer's. Um, and we had a lot of struggles when she was first diagnosed. We started noticing things, um, you know, she became forgetful and, um, and wouldn't be able to remember sort of details about our lives. You know, she was a geography teacher and she was very um, passionate about our education and she always asked us questions about what GCSEs we were doing, what A-levels we were doing. And I remember her one day not being able to remember the different subjects that I was taking for A-level and, and I just knew that was something that she cared so much about that wouldn't be something she sort of easily forgot. Um, and then it sort of progressed from there. She, she started struggling to find her way home when she went out walking. And Does your grandmother still recognise you? No, no. She hasn't um, recognised me for about five or six years. What's that like to deal with? Yeah, that's really, it's really uh, hard. It's really sad. Um, but, you know, especially for my mum and for my, for my aunt and my uncle. What would you like to change? I mean, if, if, you, if you could change society's attitude towards Alzheimer's or the level of awareness, what, what would you want to change about it? Um, I think people just to be more aware in their daily lives of people who could be suffering from Alzheimer's. Um, you know, to be aware that somebody who can't count their chains in a shop when they're trying to buy a newspaper is not sort of, it's not someone being sort of old and doddery. They might potentially be suffering from Alzheimer's and they, and they might just need help or assistance. From your experience, how do you think we treat the elderly in Britain? I think there's a, there's a real problem. I think we visited several homes before we found the, the right place for Nance and some of the places that we went were just, you know, there, there was a real sort of, um, sort of lack of respect, I think, and a sort of lack of dignity. And, and I think, you know, more and more, the more that I spend time with the Alzheimer's Society, I see these incredible people who, and these incredible facilities where the Alzheimer's Society is really supporting the people in the community of Alzheimer's and they have amazing programs like Singing for the Brain. Alzheimer's is obviously a genetic illness to some degree. Mm. Do, do you, when you have a, a grandmother with Alzheimer's, do you find yourself thinking, God, I hope it's not me? Yeah, I think everyone would think that, yeah. I mean, I, I don't spend a huge amount of time thinking about it. I also do feel um, very confident and, and strongly that the, the work that, you know, that a lot of organisations are doing, and, and particularly the Alzheimer's Society in terms of research, and um, uh, could lead to us finding some, you know, cure for this or some treatment for this that will really work. Th this is a very good way to use your fame. Mm -hmm. are, are, you, are you very conscious of that? Um, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, I've just never really felt sort of uh, that I could speak, um, you know, honestly and passionately about something the way that I can about Alzheimer's. I, you know, I, I, our family lives with it and, and we see how devastating it can be. And, and I can't imagine if we didn't have the support and we didn't have an amazing home that Nats is in or the support of the Alzheimer's Society, I can't imagine how we would deal with it. Are you, are you happier with this? side of fame than you are with being photographed when you come out of a hotel and being in the Daily Mail. Yeah, no one likes, I mean I don't know anyone who likes being photographed coming out of a hotel and being in the Daily Mail. Um, or, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's the sort of completely rubbish side um, and this is the good side. I mean, you, you, you're suddenly this huge star mm. making it very big in Hollywood, working with huge directors and huge stars. Mm. That, that must be very odd. It is very odd. <laughs> no, it is. It is very odd. Um, yeah, but you know, it's, I, I, I love working with the Alzheimer's Society, most especially because my mum always comes with me when we go and you know, spend time with the Alzheimer's Society. My family gets involved. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks. Thanks for your time.